What's up everyone? This is Khodan from I Guess well, and hope you're having an amazing day. Right now I'm downloading the new update that came out on Tesla Model Y. It is the holiday update. So you can see the model number for the, not model number, the release update number is 2023.44.30.1. It actually includes two updates. It also includes the 2023.44.30 and uh, let's go to the release notes so I can show you guys what's going on. It's almost downloaded. Um, let's go release notes. And you can see right here that it is saying that it has the minor updates, minor fixes, which is dot one. But then there is embedded software update, which is 2023.44.30. And if we go through what it has, so it has the parking assist upgrade, which actually shows you now a kind of bird view, but really ugly bird view. I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to be Tesla fanboy, but this update uh, for the park assist upgrade, I've seen it, how it looks. It is actually a crappy version of the bird view that you see the surrounding of your car in a more 3D. That 3D, I don't know what kind of 3D it is, but it's not that good. So I'm not really excited about that park assist upgrade. I really find it annoying after they remove the ultrasonic sensors with the camera. It is totally not reliable. It's very unreliable. But then we have the Apple podcast now in this update. We got the game, we got the Tesla arcade update. So now you will see a Tesla cyber truck in the game uh, that the arcade section has. There's a custom lock sound. This one is interesting. So what you can do now is that you can actually replace the honk with uh, anything that you want. Let's say you want a specific sound that you can save it as lockchime.wav, v w a v. It's a wave file, and you can put it in the USB, and you can change the lock sound to anything you want. Um, you can also see that how it says that replace the horn sound. That is the chime. The lock sound you can replace it it's a little confusing but it is actually saying that you can replace the honk with the uh custom sound you'll have to first load it as you know going to the toy box in the boom box and you have to load that sound as a lock sound and then you can change that to you can use the as a honk sound so it's your own custom um i wish it was more easier but this is how it is which is not that crazy you can add the lock chime dot wave that's how the file name should be and you're replacing it with the honk which is pretty easy i can show you at the end of the video how that is done then there is automatic 911 call that if you are in a crash or accident it will make that emergency call notification um then we have trip planner on the mobile app which is amazing because sometimes you are traveling and you want to make sure that you send that from your phone to the Tesla so you're planning your trip ahead to see how many superchargers you're gonna hit and you know how long it's gonna take for you to get there with all that supercharging and stop so this is amazing that we have it now on the mobile phone to do that previously we had it on the navigation that you could add stops and you could plan the trip by getting in the car and then you're planning the trip I know most of the people plan their trip before getting in the car so this is a really good update addition to the car that you can add the planning already on your phone and then you can send it to the car then there is this uh, more cameras in the live view so now you know there's filler camera so you can see more on the screen when you're looking at the live camera view there's a camera inside the cabin there is a camera in the front on the windshield there's a camera on the fender there's a b pillar camera and the back camera so all of these cameras now you can see in the live view then we have the automatic blind spot camera, which is when you're pushing these blinkers left, right, it's going to show you whether you have something on your blind spot with this red indication, which is pretty good feature. I really like that. I wish Tesla had something like, you know, we have it in the mirror for other cars so you can actually look at the mirror and shows you that's pretty easy because you're looking over the shoulder most of the time. So that's the best practice to do. But you're actually looking at the mirrors when you're making these turns, not on the screen. It's more dangerous to look at the screen and then turn. But uh, it's a pretty good add on. So at least we have that here. Then we have the new light show that I'm going to be testing out. Um, see how that's going to be like. 
um, Tesla has crazy light shows that actually you can make custom and you can upload through the USB and you can play your own design custom light show which is pretty neat I love the Tesla for this thing that they keep adding these things for us and hopefully I you know I was bashing about that 3d view that new um, they call it park assist upgrade this is not literally upgrade look at this this is how it's gonna show you this bird view thing the 3d view is is not that impressive a lot of people are not really already liking it i've seen that uh you know with my friend's car and it's it's not impressive so i'm not really excited about this but this right here auto pilot suspension is going to be really harsh now because as you guys have heard there is a two million cars are recalled and they're not recall like as if you have to take the car to the showroom it's just merely software updates so tesla is already doing that you can see over the air update recall and that is right here in accordance with the you know um the uh highway and all that you have to follow that so this is more improved now so what they're doing is they're making it more uh, safer. So all these alerts are going to be bigger, like on the screen, the text going to be bigger and all that stuff. So this is the recall. This is literally it, the update. And then there are some minor updates for Tidal and uh, the applications and all. These are pretty basic tweaks, so they're not really major update. That's what they call it, minor update to begin with. But autopilot suspension is going to be really aggressive because that's the reason why you know these cars are being recalled that there are you know alerts and all and people are not following it and now they're making it more obvious so if you're not following the alerts still you're gonna get the penalty and you're gonna get quick suspension on the autopilot and it's not only the beta uh, suspension this is proper autopilot suspension so you know the car comes with the autopilot for the highway i'm not talking about full self-driving but if you keep ignoring these warnings, so your autopilot will be suspended and your car will be like thrown back in 1990s when people would just drive without cruise control because the autopilot is literally nothing. It's just the um, it's just the cruise control where it just follows the car in front. So this autopilot, if you let's say had a car where they have the um, the um, cruise control there's no way they're going to disable it because they don't know they don't have cameras in cabin they don't check that you know you're touching the steering wheel or not but that's that's always there uh, always there the distance spacing cruise control but in tesla if you have the regular autopilot which is just the uh, you know it keeps you in the lane and it just drives bumper to bumper you know it stops when the car in front of you stops so it will be taken away completely so if you're doing anything that you are ignoring these warnings you're not keeping your hands on the steering wheel that autopilot the basic autopilot will be suspended so better you pay attention to the road and keep the steering wheel you know uh, your hands on it all the time so that's all we have from this video guys all of these overall um you know the over the air update recall thing which a lot of people were messaging me saying that hey there are two million teslas are recalled but you know it's not it's not that uh, you're not gonna have to take your tesla there's no hardware malfunction it is just over the update recall so that's all i have from this video guys i'll see you in another one until then peace out